Now this uh, next performer, our next guest is a, a great guy and anytime he walks into a room the whole place starts shouting his name. He's the most famous person with this name. You can see why everybody's saying Doogie, Doogie, Doogie. He's a great comedian and a talented visual artist and graphic designer, Doogie Horner. Doogie, 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 there you go. Him here. Doogie, how are you? That's good. Your uh, musician has a really tiny guitar. <laughs> yeah. Still he gets by. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> you, well, well, you just came through a, a back surgery, is that right? Yeah, I just uh, recovered from, I had it a couple, uh, couple weeks ago. And uh, you, you're doing okay? Would you have some kind of fusion going on? Yeah, they fused my spine. Um, <laughs> it's amazing how little I know about what they actually did. Because my surgeon is very melodramatic. He's from South Africa, and I feel like he learned to be a doctor from watching TV. Yeah. Because he does a lot of really, he's more into kind of the feeling you get around him than actually you getting information about what they're going to do when they cut your body open. <laughs> like he'll walk into the room talking without looking at you, and then at a certain dramatic point, he'll look up at you. Like he walked in, the, the first time I met him, he walks in, he's reading my chart, and you have to write what you do for a living, so I wrote writer, because don't ever tell anybody you're a comedian. <laughs> it never leads to good conversations. And so he walks in and he goes, so, Doogie, I see that you are a writer. And he hasn't looked at me yet, he just like walks in reading it. And he goes, tell me, what is wrong? <laughs> and I said, well, I have a herniated disc. And he goes, no, 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 no. Do not tell me what these doctors have told you. I can't do a South African accent. <laughs> so do not tell me what You could <laughs> tell. It was really close. <laughs> do not tell me what these other doctors have told you. Pretend I am three years old. Yeah. And use all your powers of description as a writer to make me feel what you feel. Yeah. And I was like, okay. My back hurts. <laughs> he said, yes, I understand. I hope you do, because if you don't get that, the MRIs are going to be really confusing. <laughs> so that was a couple of weeks ago or so? I don't, I'm not, yeah, I, uh, I don't know when exactly You're just was. coming out I think out it was maybe eight, eight weeks ago. Well, I never look at the calendar, because I don't know. What, I never know what the day is, because I don't have a job, so. Oh, it's just, uh, you're just Every dipping in and out of Saturday. time. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, but but uh, have you been working on a project with, the, with this? Um, oh, with my back or in well, general? Well, I mean, have you been able to do some work? Because I know you do graphic design and book covers and you do flow charts. Yeah. It's, what's the book called? It's everything through flow charts? Oh, yeah. I did a book called Everything Explained Through Flow Charts, which when I go back and look at that book, I'm like, how did I do that? It's crazy. It's, it's, every, it's literally everything explained. Do you ever cover bed bugs in that? No, although I designed a book about bed bugs, it was a novel. It was a, a novel of infestation. It was a horror book about this woman who she's not so sure. sure. That's, no, you're I talking about this one. Okay. What's ben, that? Oh, Ben Winters. Ben. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's great. And they're not sure in the book. This lady is not sure whether she has bed bugs. Nobody believes her. Yep. And it's uh, really well written. It's kind of like Rosemary's Baby book with uh, bed bugs. Well, my my book, of course, A Man, A Plan, A Canal, Gowanus, is uh, <laughs> didn't it, 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 it didn't do that well. And uh, now uh, is that a horror novel also? It, it is. It is. It's just my story. So yes, it's a horror novel. And uh, now the Army Corps of Engineers have been dumping the copies of it into the Gowanus. To, uh, to, to build up the layers there for luxury That's condo fantastic. development. So it feel, feels good. <laughs> you must be selling a lot of, moving a lot of Yeah, it feels, feels real great. Real like, we great. need a million. Can we buy them by the square mile? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, we wish them well. But yeah, I had to learn how to, um, to draw. Uh, lay, I'm illustrating a couple books right now. And I had to lay down for a while after the surgery. So I had to learn how to draw laying down, uh, which was hard. What do you have? Some kind of uh, scaffolding set up, or, or what's no, it? No, I kind used of swinging a, harness. Well, Matisse did a couple different things. He used cut paper, and then he used chalk on a long stick. Yeah. And we all know how well that worked out. But they don't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> Just horrible messes. Yeah, uh, really yeah. bad. And so uh, I'm glad you went first to him to say, "Well, what did he do?" No, no, he's dead. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I, I assume you didn't go to the house. 
But yeah, I just got, I got a, I had a complex system of um, TV trays and pillows and stuff. It's fantastic. <laughs> I hope that's well documented. And uh, have you been getting back though into doing, doing the shows and the comedy? Yeah, uh, I, I'm just, I'm gonna start traveling again this week. I'm going to Bethlehem to do a show tomorrow, Thursday, and then I'm going to Portland next week. But your traveling's hard because you're not supposed to sit for too long. Yeah, that's tough. But you were just in Lansdale too, right? Oh yeah, I was just in Lansdale. Was that a romantic getaway? Way to carry the lead. <laughs> uh, I did a show at Round Guys Brewing Company, and it was this bar, and nobody knew a show was happening. Those are the best. Oh, man. Those are the best But it ended up being fantastic because it's Lansdale, and everybody who was at Round Guys Brewing is there because nothing else is open. Like, everything shuts down at 9 p.m. These people are just dying for, like, some kind of stimulation. They're, like, just hot sauce, beer, whatever. And so they were great. They were really excited a show was going on. And this one guy that was, like, crazy drunk. And he was this level of small-town drunk where, like, people only get in small towns because... They are so bored, yeah. and there is nothing else to do. They're like, well, the museum is closed. I would love to go see an opera, but you, you know, I can't. And so <laughs> yeah. I guess I would get I would blank out, blind, yeah. drunk. And this guy was just like loaded, and it was, uh, it was interesting. Sounds like a recipe for a great night. It was actually pretty, yeah, it was a great night. <laughs> Good. And of course, you're from Pennsylvania, yep. and you've been on this program before. I should say, you're one of the few repeat guests, so I'm happy to have you back. An and uh, we went into uh, to it in depth in terms of uh, your, your childhood and all that, and flying planes and things. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I'm going to be doing my first gig back there in Mania. Oh, yeah. So you have any advice for me for that? Do I need to wear an Eagles jersey and, uh, you know, that <laughs> Eagles? Kind of, yeah. Mania is not really, Phil I mean, I guess that's near Philadelphia. A friend of mine got beat up in Mania. He was at a... Um, he was dressed up as Scooby-Doo in a full-body Scooby-Doo costume. Okay. And he leaned on the I wrong car. I won't do that. And neighborhood <laughs> children beat him up. That's all I know about me. You know, people don't like falsehoods. People will come after you. I was once dressed as a robot, and a little girl walked up to me and uh, punched me in the nuts and said, those aren't robot parts, those are people parts. Well, that's on you. You think that was my fault? Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> that's good. Well, are you going to be doing something? You said you're going to be going to Bethlehem. I'm in, yeah, I'm in Bethlehem, my, my hometown of Bethlehem, uh, this Thursday with Todd Berry at Steel Stacks. Yeah. And then next week I'm in Portland, if any of you guys want to make the trip. It's a great town. Well, I, I hope that people do come out and see you, Doogie, and I'm glad that you're here. I'm sorry, we're a little bit short on time, so we have to cut it. But uh, 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 I'm so thrilled to see you again, that you're in good health. And the marriage is going well? Uh, let's talk about my back some more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My marriage is going great. Uh, good. My wife good. just bought uh, two acres of forest in upstate New York, and we're going to build a little cabin. Oh, great. Well, let me know. I'll come cheaper up. Cheaper than you think. I'll come up. <laughs> cheaper than you think. Good. Well, I look forward to visiting you and the family and seeing what's going on there, and I appreciate you being here. And uh, how about Doogie Horner, everybody? Did you guys compete against each other in Boston? Did you know each other? Maybe that's where I know you from, from Boston. I think so. You can, you, can talk, you can talk about it later. <laughs> but how about a uh, round of applause for all the guests tonight? We appreciate all of your fantastic work. And look them all up on Twitter or wherever and follow them and do your best to catch up with their good things. And the book is, of course, available now and easily burned quickly. That's Steve O'Reilly back here on guitar. Let's hear from him and everybody at the pit. We'll be back for the season finale of this program on May 26th, another Tuesday, 8 p.m., with another all-star lineup celebrating the end of a sensational season of Dale Radio. I'm so excited. Now, until next time, I'll be filling my empty whiskey bottles with contraband DDT and sleeping in a containment vessel. Now, let's get back to that great music that we all enjoy. Thank you.